Okay, so here we have a 1997 Gibson L5 CT in faded cherry. Uh, comes with the original case. Uh, no COA. These were. This is a 1997, so they didn't even have COAs in 97. That's why it wouldn't have one. Um, really, really cool guitar. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. It just has some light scratches, some small dings, um, a little bit of finish checking on the guitar, and then a little bit of wear. Uh, underneath of the bridge right here and we'll go more into that um, it's under the bridge you can't see it with the bridge on there but it's there um, some of the specs on this one the weight is seven pounds 14 ounces it's got a rounded Gibson neck uh, give you the caliper measurements the nut width is 1.71 inches depth at the first fret is 0 0.80 inches and the depth at the ninth fret is 0 0.91 inches has an ebony fingerboard and 57 classic pickups let's get in there and check it out we can just uh, see if we can see that inside label made in Nashville, Tennessee, L5CT. Uh, it's the thinner uh, L5 version. You can just see right there. Pretty, pretty cool. Pickups look good. Not a ton of tarnish on them. Uh, light scratches on that guard. And overall, I mean, pretty, pretty clean. And then right here, right in this area, uh, there is some wear underneath. We'll pack a, pack a pack, put a picture of it right now. So you can see, um, looks like somebody might have possibly uh, pinned the bridge down at one point. Um, it's kind of in these two little spots, um, you know, where, where somebody would pin the guitar. Um, I'm not sure it's there. It doesn't go all the way through. There's no cracks or anything like that. Um, it just kind of looks like maybe somebody had pinned it at one point. Pinning means where you, you pin the bridge down so it doesn't move. Um, it is not there. Like I said, the bridge covers it. As you can see right now, we'll go back to that. Um, yeah, the bridge just covers it beautifully. Um, you can maybe see just like a little bit poking out right around there. Um, but I mean, it covers it really, really well. Um, not a huge deal to me. We have taken a little bit of money off of this for that. Well, quite a bit actually. Um, let's just check out the rest of the guitar. Have any fingerboard on this one and the frets are great. There is no wear. Front of the headstock looks really good. Just some light scratches and maybe some dings. Let's go ahead and get this flipped over. Back of the headstock, there is our serial number. And this guitar does have a stinger. That's this little black paint going on right here. Really, really cool. That's how they did L5s. Uh, there is a teeny bit of finish checking um, along the stinger seam. You can see it right there. That is very, very normal. It's not a crack or anything like that. It's just um, a little bit of finish checking along the stinger. It's just how they, they put the headstocks on these on there. And then um, when they paint the stinger over it, uh, it just checks a little bit, but absolutely no cracks or, or anything like that. Back of the neck looks really good. No dings or anything like that. It's nice and flamey. Back of the guitar looks pretty good as well. Just some light scratches and some dings. But there are no cracks or anything on this guitar. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this flipped back over. There we have it on that, 1997 Gibson L5 CT in Faded Cherry.